for Atlasphere's. It's Pauline. And she has to roll up against Lightning. Over to Cyril Mitchley. Contender. Are you ready? Gloria, are you ready? Three, two, one. Truck driver Pauline is more than used to moving around in big steel vehicles, but this is a little different. Oh, and this is a very different tactic, and it's caught lightning off guard. Pauline is so strong, and she plows the gladiator out of the way, and she's looking unstoppable. Three down, two to go, and Lightning is facing an uphill battle to stem the tide. Well, that's better defending by the gladiator, and I think Pauline will now have to use a different approach to her brute strength. The contender keeps at it, though. Oh, and she squeezes her way around. All four silvers are down, and the British contender has 10 seconds to topple the big four-point red bonus skittle. And she's like a runaway train. She's done it. Pauline smashes over the fifth skittle, and she scores the 12-point maximum. Brilliant. Oh, 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 oh. top gear throughout this game but unfortunately she appears to have suffered an injury just as she bowled over the all-important fifth skittle and our MRI paramedics are quick to attend to the problem and we'll keep you posted on that but it means that Pauline pushes further ahead she's 13 points clear of Kirsten as they prepare for the eliminator ready for his atmospheres it's Michael and he has to go up against Cobra. Over to Cyril Mitchley. Contender. Are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Cobra slithers his way towards the center contact zone. Oh, and Michael's just beaten him to it. Good start for the South African on a night when points have been so hard to come by. He's trying to put his back into it, but Cobra holds his ground. Oh, no, he doesn't. The contender gets his third knockdown, and the race is on for the last two skittles. Brilliant acceleration by the schoolteacher, but the gladiator keeps him at bay. Oh, and he nearly knocks over the skittle by mistake. He has. It just tips over, and Michael realizes what's happened and throws himself towards that red bonus, and it's going to be another 12 points. Well, this really was a double bonus. Cobra did the unintentional favor, and that was the difference between just six points and then the full dozen. Michael is delighted. He's got 12 points. Michael... You got the big red one. Oh, he's hugging it. Michael, talk us through it. Great game against Cobra. Glenn, I had to stay out of the corners. I know he's a small, nippy Cobra. Nice going, Cobra. Well, nice going, Michael. It's a points. Well, Cobra's applauding. You got to respect Michael. He had a good one there, Cobra. Well, you could say I didn't really have a good one there. In fact, it was quite shameful, and I am ashamed to be in this gladiator costume, but I'm going to take it like a man. I'm going to take it like a gladiator. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's hear it for Michael and Cobra! <laughs> While Cobra walks off with his tail, or whatever snakes have, between his legs, but he'll be back. Ready for his atmospheres, it's Phil! And he has to roll up against Vildebeus. Over to Cyril Mitchley. Three, two, one. Vildebeus is one of the great all-round gladiators and he makes this grueling event look so easy. And already Phil is up against it. But he escapes 
and he's going to take care of the middle target and now he's making up for lost time four points so far the beast stands poised phil's got himself in a corner and that makes his life doubly difficult this is the exhausting part trying to break away from the defender but phil's played this a lot overseas and he's still in with a shout the air is thick with the firework smoke. It really is a battlefield out there. And Phil has had to work hard for his half dozen points. Six seconds to go, and that bottom corner seems a long way away, especially in the light of Michael's full 12-point score. And the British contender will have to settle for just half of that. Phil produced three scoring knockdowns on his atmosphere journey, but Wildebeest was never off his tail. The men are all set for their eliminator, with South Africa's Michael eight points clear of Phil from the UK. So that then is the situation as we head into the eliminator. Obviously, the contenders want to do their best, so when we come back after the break on MTN Gladiators, the eliminator awaits. Are you an MTN Gladiator? Are you an MTN Gladiator? Welcome back to MTN Gladiators. This is it. The suspense is about to be over. Glenn's at the Eliminator. Well, some very disappointing news for Pauline Shirt from the UK. She injured herself in Atlaspheres, the last event on tonight's show. And she's been replaced by Maria Ward, here on the left. Eliminator. And obviously emotional Pauline hands over the reins to her teammate, who will have five points deducted because of fresh legs. So the UK will have a four second head start. Over to Cyril Mitchley. Maria, you will go on the first blow of the whistle. Kirsty, you will go on the second blow of the whistle. Three, two, one. What a situation for Maria. She comes in cold, but will need to warm up quickly as Kirsty gets her chase underway. Talk about being thrown into the deep end. She makes her debut on the Eliminator. Kirsty's seen it plenty of times, but the substitute is handling herself well so far. The leader takes her first competitive trip through the spider's web something they do not have on British gladiators. And as the British contender battles with the spaghetti, can Kirsty take advantage? The leader is out of trouble and should be able to use her fresher legs to some benefit up the cargo net. And the chaser is losing ground. Dismount for Maria, the fitness instructor, who sharpens up by playing football. Kirsty is off the zip line, but she hasn't eaten away at the lead, and Maria is ready to go. She looks strong. Oh, she falls early. Oh, and I don't think the referee likes what he sees. Cyril Mitchley has seen something, ladies and gentlemen. Well, no one has won this eliminator yet. Uh, unfortunately, the British contender touched black on the top, on the top of the, the travelator. It's not allowed. We have a runoff from the beginning of the balance beam. And we know how tense these situations can be. Contenders, are you ready? So Kirsty is back in with a great chance of winning this after all, and the local crowd is fully aware of that. What a turnaround. Three, two, one. Oh, Kirsty flies up the beam. Maria is shaky, and so too is Kirsty now. And these contenders are letting the pressure get to them. Maria makes headway. Kirsty tries again, but the British contender goes for it. 
and it's the substitute contender who keeps it together to win it for the UK. Just ahead of an exhausted Kirsty, and the injured Pauline and her family at least have something to smile about. Maria Ward, a Romanian-born orphan, does it for her adopted country and makes sure that her second eliminator run is clean and successful. Kirsty, we've been in this situation so many times. By now, obviously, you know that eliminator route backwards and forwards. Uh, yeah, I know backwards and forwards. I actually really think I messed up badly because when I saw her fall off the balance beam, I just thought, come on, let's go, let's do this fast. I should have slowed down. I should have taken it easy. I think I, I would have gone up the first time and then I would have won, but instead rushed too much, lost the balance, and off I came. But it all happens in the heat of the moment. The excitement is so intense, and the crowd, of course, is going wild. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to actually say thank you to all my friends and family who came and supported. It was very cool. And everybody else. <laughs> yeah. uh, she's a grand, grand runner-up, Kirsty. Look at this. A commemorative Pruga round for being runner-up in tonight's round. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maria wins this opening salvo in this international gladiators. Maria, what drama, being called back, so much pressure on you, so many distractions. Talk us through that. Yeah, I was quite nervous to begin with because there's lots of pressure on me, but I didn't want to give up. Pauline is a very great contender. I had a few mistakes on the uh, balance beams, and I lost it twice. I couldn't believe it never happened to me in Great Britain. But when I saw her losing her balance, I thought, this time it's my turn. And happily, I went through first. But she's been a great contender. And thank you for supporting Pauline as well. Let's hear it for Maria, our winner of this opening show, Maria from Great Britain. Time for the men's showdown. And Michael has a big chance to score a South African victory with a four second head start. Contenders, are you ready? Three, two, one. Michael needs a good start, but Phil is an experienced contender and will chase like there is no tomorrow. Not the best rope climb the South Africans ever had, and the British contender makes up a little ground. Is an important test of nerve and skill, and local knowledge should favor Michael on this one. No shortage of home support for the leader, and he seems to have reinstated his solid advantage. Phil frees himself from the web, but Michael is probably six seconds better off. Can he make it count? Good landing. He doesn't want to stumble now. We've had our share of errors on this balance beam tonight already. But Michael is approaching the critical moment, and Phil needs fate to give him a helping hand. But Michael Toll makes no mistake and wins the first of his two international matchups in this new series. Phil Norman cracks the travel eight two, but he just could not eat into that crucial four-second start. Michael is so fit, and despite the relatively short strides, he had the drive to give his country the glory. Well, you start it behind. Michael got stamina from somewhere and kept that lead. Towards the end, you were almost closing that gap, though. Yeah, I messed up on the net, put my foot through it twice. Uh, once I did that, he was away and I couldn't catch him. Yeah, it is a bit difficult once you get settled down and then you get a, a sort of, somebody just keeps you back or something keeps you back and then it's difficult to get your groove again. Yeah, but no regrets, being by the better man. It was a good day. Ah, oh, you're a good one, Mike. You're a good one, Phil. Phil. To take away with you, Phil, your commemorative Kruger Rand. Well done. Michael. <laughs> You can hear how the roofs come off the Gladiators Arena because everybody here, I'm sure everybody at home, wanted to see a South African victory. You've given it to them, Michael. Glenn, thank you very much. I always knew that the first was always the hardest. I think I broke the, the ice for all the other guys, other contenders, and the British guys. I tried to do my best. 
paid off. I needed to stay ahead. Phil, you're a, wonder, a wonderful competitor. Better luck next time. Let's hear it for Michael. There's your special bouquet, Michael. Absolutely sensational stuff. He's our winner. Michael breaks the ice.